Andrew Marchand at Yankee Stadium. Good morning, Andrew. Roger Weiland in Albany on ESPN Radio, home of the Yankees. Good morning. Hey, Roger. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for a few minutes. I know you're busy. Uh, locker room open, Girardi, everything going on with you right now. What's, uh, what's your uh, thoughts on uh, Jordan Montgomery getting the ball today? Let's talk about the here and the now first. I think it's going to be very interesting, to say the least. I mean, when you look at this Yankee rebuild and what they're trying to do, the one question you really have about their prospects is, uh, you know, are there a lot of pitching, uh, starting pitching uh, to look at? You have Luis Severino. You have James Caprolin, who might need Tommy John surgery. Um, you have Justice Sheffield, who's a young kid they got um, in the um, trade for Andrew Miller last year at the Indians, who, who, who could be something special. But – at the higher level, you don't you don't have that many guys. So Jordan Montgomery didn't come out of nowhere, but in terms of the race for the fifth spot, he was definitely not even among guys I would have written down in articles leading into spring training. And now here he is, going to start today. He's a four pitch guy, a lefty, very tall, probably about six four, um, and it's going to be interesting. I mean, Joe Girardi just said, you know, he's going to have nerves today. There's no way around that, um, but. But you saw composure during the spring, uh, and you know the Yankees are hoping that translates. It helps you playing the Rays, so not a great lineup. Uh, but uh, overall, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what they have in this guy and see if he can be a legit starter. I think I think there's a good chance he can be. And then Kyle Higashioka is behind the plate. Higgy, that that makes this batter mate even more interesting. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy who's come out of nowhere in some respects the last couple of years. Um, at one point, seemed like he wasn't a prospect, and now really rebuilt his stock last year to the point that, you know, if they didn't have someone as good as Austin Romine as a backup catcher, he could have maybe broke camp uh, with the team. Now he'll make his debut, and so, uh, you know, that that's fun. I mean, that, and that's what this year is, and maybe even next year as well. I, it's seeing what these young guys have and what they can be, and then – you know, come 2019, you have that great free agent class with Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. Maybe you add one, two, perhaps three of those guys. Uh, and you might have something special here in the Bronx yearly again, just like you had with the core four dynasty and the free agents that they added. So um, when you put it all together, uh, that, uh, that's what you're looking at for 2017. And, and today we get another glimpse of, of the present, but, but also the future. What about the health of this team right now? Who's who's back in the lineup? Yeah, I mean they they uh, they've had a lot of injuries early here. Uh, Greg Bird's get another day off because uh, Joe Girardi just wants to give him a chance to to just feel better. He was sick, and then he had the ankle issue, and so uh, tough lefty on the mound tonight and Snell. And so today, I should say, so Chris Carter will get the start at first. Sanchez, of course, still out for another month, uh, and so. You're not going to see Sanchez for a while, but uh, Bird probably in the lineup tomorrow night, uh, and, and he'll be back in there most likely every day. Hey, Andrew, uh, Chris Honorado here with Roger as well. We buried the lead. Uh, Andrew's an Ithaca College guy, which we, we need. <laughs> Find, we need to find more on this show. Excuse me on that one. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> hey, Andrew, uh, I'm looking at your most recent piece on, on ESPN.com, uh, and it's a fascinating story for any baseball fan, not just necessarily uh, a Yankees fan. Can you tell us about uh, the the assistant GM here and I guess the the chances that someone like Gene Afterman has uh, to to really be groundbreaking in the game of baseball as a general manager? Yeah, I mean, Gene is uh, been, has been with the Yankees for 15 years. I feel like there hasn't been a lot written about her, but but she's been she's been around uh, for a while. And and the the thing with her is uh, she's tough. I mean, the story starts out with um, when she was an agent before she uh, became the assistant GM. She uh, was being basically yelled at by uh, George Steinbrenner about how poor Hideki Arabu was pitching. And I can't use the words on the radio, but she fought fire with fire. And that's kind of how she is. She's tough, negotiator, she's a lot of tenacity, but also great personality, uh, very well-liked around the game. Um, and could she be – she doesn't want to be the next uh, GM. That, that's the interesting thing about her. And it's also interesting how she even got into the game. She wasn't, a, you know, a tomboy growing up in the 60s and 70s. 
She wasn't even a baseball fan, really. She was in the theater. Uh, she became a lawyer kind of by chance in some regards, and she's been by Brian Cashman's side the last 15 years. She's involved in every transaction they make. Um, you know, Brian, you know, looks to her for as like a compliance officer. You know, and I asked a bunch of people, but Cashman, you know, was, was one of them, you know, could she be a GM? And, and said, yeah, she definitely could be because, you know, he never played professional baseball. He played in college, but didn't play professionally. And it's the people you put around yourself. And so, I mean, it's, it will happen at some point. Um, Kim Eng, who's the woman that, that Gene replaced with the Yankees 15 years ago, she's, a, she's now in Major League Baseball's operation in the commissioner's office. She's interviewed for GM jobs five times, has not gotten a, a job yet. I mean, she was an assistant GM, too. She was a vice president, also with the Dodgers. But, I mean, it's going to happen. It's just it's a matter of when. Um, you know, and it, you know, Gene you know, definitely could be, could be the person. But at this, at this time, she doesn't want to be. But you know what? You get that offer, and maybe things change. <laughs> it's must-read stuff. I mean, the exchange that she had with Steinbrenner over Hideki. Or Rob, I mean, just reading it in print is great. Could you imagine being you know, the, the, the third party on a, on a telephone call like that? It's, it's must-read stuff on ESPN.com, no doubt about it. And, and, one, and, and one other thing about that is she's an actress at heart. And, I mean, I, I tried to <laughs> – it sounds like thanks. I appreciate your compliment. That you have to do it justice, but when she tells a story, like all the characters come to life. Yeah. So uh, it's really exceptional when when and she and she just she's the person that you you like writing a positive story about because she just is very genuine um, in her interactions with everyone. And Andrew, uh, appreciate a few minutes. A, a weather good today uh, in in the Bronx? So no issues with the rain or? Mm, it's not great actually. As I was talking to you, and uh, it started raining. I was on the field, so I was I walked inside uh, through the corridors as we were talking, but. Um, you couldn't tell. I guess I did an okay job. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but I, I think we're going to be okay. But it just very Um But uh, but I think the forecast I looked yesterday. It looks like it'll probably be okay. But at the moment, it started to drizzle. Andrew Marshan, ESPN New York on the Yankees as we get set for uh, game time at one o five today against the Rays. Looking forward to seeing uh, Jordan Montgomery uh, and Higgy, the batter mate, today in the Bronx. Uh, Andrew, thanks for a few minutes here on Big Board Sports. All right, thank you.